Aloha guys, welcome to another edition of 8Tor Tutorials. Today I am going to talk to you, actually rant, about this DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, ranting is not a good thing today because this is supposedly a really cinematic, crazy, 4K, gimbal, stabilized, handheld, super small, convenient, affordable, blah blah blah, but I can't get a fucking time lapse or motion lapse sharp for the life of me. So this is my second one. I had one for about nine days and I could not figure out why. And DJI, when I called the support, was absolutely horrendous. They had no clue what I was talking about. They did nothing to help. All they did was basically transfer my Osmo Shield, which wasn't easy, but regardless of that, bottom line is I swapped it out for another one, thinking that maybe it was a bad piece of hardware. And lo and behold, same thing. And I've been doing a lot more research online, reading a lot more people having focus issues with their pockets. And I want to know, basically, if I'm the only one, I know I'm not because I obviously have read it online, but I want to hear what you guys are experiencing with this because I cannot get a time lapse or motion lapse focused, as I said, or sharp for the life of me. What will happen, I've tried it in AFS, in AFC, I've tried it connected to my iPhone, I've tried it connected to the wireless module, I've had it on my Joby, on my 5K Joby, on my Gitzo $1500 tripod, I've had it secure, every single thing, and I feel like it's not that, it's something more, I'm sure it's something with the firmware, it just doesn't seem like it's holding focus, you can't lock focus, nothing I've done has been able to remedy me getting a time lapse that's worth a shit. So. I don't know what else to say other than I would love to hear what you guys are experiencing. I want to know maybe in the comments below, let me know if your footage is sharp, if it's blurry too, if it is sharp, what you're doing, what you're not doing. I don't think there's anything more left to try with this, as I said. I mean, it's been stable. I've noticed a lot of shake and kind of bouncy footage with it too. I don't know if it's really affected by the wind, even lower wind days. I've read that someone said that it wasn't possibly working because of the type of battery it has in it because of the cold weather. I don't know. All I know is I spent probably $400 on the accessories and with this and the memory card and I can get a better time lapse video all day long rock star with my iPhone 10. So, you know, I'm pretty disappointed that DJI let this thing out and they're touting again their time lapse video sample that they put out there with the Mimo app and showing how killer it looks. I don't know what they did to get that time lapse looking so great and so sharp, but I can't get that for the life of me. Every single time it looks like doo doo, total crap, totally unacceptable, not usable. They just go right in the trash. For this example, I'm going to actually attach a couple videos to see what I'm experiencing. And again, I'm totally bummed out that I can't get a motion lapse or a time lapse for the life of me out of this little cool piece of technology. I'm hoping that they pay attention and fix this thing with a firmware update, but honestly, if I could, I would return this probably just because it's been so frustrating so far. And again, I really did buy this largely to get some nice B-roll footage and some cool little you know, time-lapse videos and motion lapses because that's what was kind of getting me excited when I saw it. And the two things that I wanted to do most, I can't do it all. And every single one has emptied, emptied uh, ended up in the trash. So again, a little flustered, kind of frustrated with this. I just wanted to throw this out there. It's not supposed to be super high production value video. It's just meant to see if other people are experiencing the same thing with this new piece of technology and what you're doing to, as I said, get it focused and sharp. And if you're having bad results, what's going through your mind? So again, let me know. I don't know what else I can say. I've heard people say that they're doing a workaround. I think that was with the 4K video where you can save the original photo and then put it together in like DaVinci Resolve and do things like that. But I don't think that has anything to do with the actual captures being sharp. It seems like it's a really shallow depth of field. I don't know if it has to do with the aperture. I believe it's like f2.2 or something like that. So if that's the case, it seems as if when I start the time lapse, it looks like it's still in focus. And then as it starts to continue on, 
it just seems like it goes soft and I don't know what the frick that's about but it really blows so again this thing can't keep a hard on apparently meaning it can't be sharp for the life of me um, and that's really it so let me know subscribe if you can I'm just totally starting out this YouTube channel putting a lot more focus and energy on it I'm gonna be trying to get at least one nice video out a week in the beginning not being over ambitious but again really this is just to see if other people are experiencing what I'm experiencing and how they're dealing with it and what they're feeling and if they're returning it if they're just waiting for a firmware update so again let me know in the comments below aloha guys peace thanks bye